What is up everyone? It's Alex here. So today we're going to be going through the most common mistakes people make when they first start in the gym and in particular the mistakes I made. So stick around, enjoy the video, let's get straight into it. So I remember I remember the first time I ever walked into the gym, um, literally not having a clue. I didn't really I didn't really understand what to do and I pretty much just did a circuit of each machine, went on one machine, yep, yeah, few reps on that one, few reps on the next one, few reps on the next one, and then walked out and left and thought, yeah, that was good. And then I remember the biggest memory I have of me in the gym is I my first time ever flat benching. I had no spotter. I didn't really appreciate how heavy weight was. So I saw a guy on the bench. Um, he might have, I think he only had like 40 kg, like two 10, 10 plates on either side. And he did quite a few reps. And I thought like, yeah, that looks good. That looks great. So I wandered over to the bench, got down, pulled the bar off, pulled it down to my chest. And Jenny was like, I'm not, this isn't going to come up this. This, <laughs> this is staying where it is. Managed to rack it onto the pins and then embarrassingly walked off back into the little weight machines area and carried on doing my little stupid little circuits. Doing the same things, you see far too many people doing the same exercises, same routine, same everything, and then they wonder why they're not seeing progress. And they're like, why, am, why is my body not changing? It's like, well, try switching things up every once in a while. The other thing, we've all been there, come on. It's, especially you guys, don't train legs. I wish I'd have trained legs when I first started in the gym. Um, I just neglected it. I thought like, ah, oh, I'm not really bothered. Did the classic, arms Monday, chest Tuesday, arms Wednesday, abs, abs, yeah, they were good. Don't fall into this category. Make sure you're training your legs. It's half your body. Think about how much you train your upper body. You need to be training your lower body the same amount of times as your upper body. But people just neglect it because they go, legs, mm, they just want that big chest. They want those big arms. Like, nah, so it's much better as a proportion physique. And my other thing I used to find in the gym I was very bad at is just throwing weights about. Not really understanding what I was doing, just reps, rep, like just throwing the reps about. Not actually, it's, mind muscle connection but honestly it's massive if you're focusing on actually contracting and stretching that muscle i promise you you will see much more benefits in growth and therefore gains uh, than just throwing away up and down throwing it on the floor moving on to the next exercise like i promise that will change your game then in terms of supplements bloody hell. i even remember my mum when i when i started having protein she was oh you you will be careful won't you like it's it's a food supplement like People think of it as like, oh no, he's he's going on a protein cycle. Oh my god, it's literally like I'm yeah, I'm supplementing my protein that I would get from food with a powder. It's it's nothing bad about it. It's just hilarious this misconception that everyone has around protein. And then there's all there's millions types of supplements. I've I've fallen to it. I've bought into supplements there, and they're going to fat loss tablets. It's not like you just you use them as a supplement. It's in the name. It's not there to change your life. It's they're made if you're not able to get the equivalent in food in your body that you need. Have it as a supplement. Yes, fine, but don't fall ill to this misconception that you have to be taking this supplement to do this. And same with protein. I, I remember. Oh no. I remember the classic, the anabolic 30 minute window where you have to have your protein shake, otherwise it doesn't even count. Doesn't matter at all. I, I remember I used to finish in the gym and then I'd run home, get my shake down me, and then that was it. But in all honesty, you need glucose for God's sake, but that's another topic. So yeah, supplements, don't fall ill to them. Just concentrate on food and don't buy into it. a lot of it is just trying to sell you stuff to make money and it's only going to make that minimal minimal difference so it's not going to be massive my other one i remember the good old no carbs after six because it will just go straight on as fat you start thinking about going to bed and then you're lying in bed with a full stomach like your your body's not going to use it it's just going to be stored straight as fat and it's like 
well one eating carbs doesn't work like that and then also the fact that your body is still active overnight you i promise you you'll be burning a lot more calories than you think you do overnight if any of you have got any fitness trackers or anything you'll know this because you'll see you'll be able to see in the morning when you wake up actually how many calories you burn through the night yes it's not going to do anything when you're asleep like to be honest i go to bed now on a full stomach having eaten my biggest meal at night like it really doesn't matter it's total calories always 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 my last one that i became i remember it was awful where i used to think oh yeah chicken and rice that's healthy um oats protein oats that's healthy so i used to eat just so much of it like i bought bulking shakes mutant mass shakes that were like a thousand calories a shake and it was just so much powder that you're just putting into your body and it's just like it's not good for you but you just think in your head like yeah right that's a that's healthy so that's got to go in and all that ended up happening was i got fat and i was like why am i getting fat i'm eating really good i'm training but at the end of the day i was just eating too much food still it doesn't matter if it's clean as clean as you like it's it still is stored in your body as excess fat because your body is consuming too many calories so look don't make these mistakes in the gym and if you see anyone making these mistakes in the gym don't be that guy that's filming them and laughing at them go up to them and help them say hey broski do you need some <laughs> some help over there so when i was there trying to bench my life away and almost chop my head off but if i had someone there that was like whoa 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 mate i think you need to calm down strip the weight off learn your form first and then we can start stacking on the weight instead of trying to bench half your body weight but yeah so don't make these mistakes be productive in the gym make sure you're maximizing results hit that like button if you're like me and you've ever been part of these mistakes subscribe if you haven't already and i will catch you in the next video i'll see you very very soon yeah.